So here's one really powerful tip that I have for you when it comes to starting your own business. So a lot of people when they start a business have an idea and they say, you know what, I'll create this product, I'll try and sell it and only to find that people don't buy it. I have a friend of mine who one, I, one year had a, an idea for a book and he started to write all these books and then eventually tried to sell it and no one would buy it. So the secret is to create something and you want to sell it and then see if people actually buy it. It's what we call an MVP, a minimum viable product. So I want to give you three little tips. I know I've talked about this in the past, but I'll give you three little tips that I've got for you that can really help you create a profitable online business. The first thing is make sure you survey your audience, number one. Everything I'm doing, I'm always finding out, you know, what is that people want? Like, what is it that they're looking for? You see, what people want versus what people need are actually worlds apart. So we've got to make sure, number one, we survey our audience. So for example, I recently just released an app because I know a lot of people want mentoring. It's called iMentor, you can check it out on the, on the App Store. But the reason why myself and my business partner created that is because we had so many people contacting us saying, you know, John, can you mentor us? John, can you coach us? John, do you have any um, time to so I can take you for coffee and we can pick your brains? So we had so many people that wanted to learn about business, marketing, uh, real estate, all these different things. So that's why we knew the app would, you know, a lot of people would be interested in it. So now they pay people to ask questions. So number one is survey your audience. Number two, if you want to make sure that you have a profitable business, make sure that you create something that is recurring. So you've heard me talk about this a lot as well, but the effort that it takes you to sell something once, it's the same effort that it takes you to sell something once and get paid over and over again. It's what we call the subscription model. You probably see this a lot. Sorry, I've got, <laughs> I'm just currently here in Brighton. Um, so it, 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 it really un is really understanding what it is that people are looking for. So if I say to every single person who listens right now, what are you looking for right now? And also, what are you currently repeat buying? So repeat subscriptions, again, are doing really, really well. That's a really good uh, profitable business model as well. And the third thing that I've got for you, and this is something that I've, I've really learned when it comes to um, starting profitable businesses. And for those of you just starting off right now, and you're looking to see, is maybe start off as a as an entrepreneur first. Right? So instead of you having to create your own product, create your own service, try and sell your own products and services, why don't you find somebody else who already has that product or service, work inside their company and become an entrepreneur instead of an entrepreneur. So what's an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur, like if you look at some of the first PAs and some of the first admin people who work for Google, they probably earn more than a lot of the executives now because they started right at the start. So if you go into somebody else's company, let them be the face of it, but you support as an entrepreneur instead of an entrepreneur, you can also start a business that way and then you can fork off into something else. So these are some of the things that, that, that make a massive impact um, for me. And, and every time I start a business, I'm always looking for ways to collaborate. I'm always looking for to serve my audience and I'm always looking for some kind of subscription model. If you can get that right, I promise you when you start your business it's going to be it's going to be the one thing that's going to almost guarantee your success because you already have feedback remember feedback um, is really failure it's disguised as failure so you have to fail fast in business to get that feedback so really hope you ha I got a lot of value from this if you did leave a comment below what, with what's one of your best tips to get started in business also make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll pin some videos here and here as well and check those out and I'll see you on the next YouTube video bye for now